In this video I'm going to show you how to get out of split screen mode on your iPad if you have got yourself stuck. My name is David for Living on iPad and I make Apple simple so everything just works for you. And uh, sp split screen mode is something that is super helpful on the iPad. It's something that has uh, been around for a little while now. Um, and I just wanted to kind of demonstrate a couple of things because I found online a lot of people are actually searching for how to get out of it. I have made a video in the past on how to get into split screen mode, uh, but we are going to literally just go through everything from start to finish, how to start it, how to get out of it, how to use the other versions that we have. So starting off on our iPad, um, I will show you exactly what we are doing here um, and if we want to open up an app so we go into Safari uh, open it something nice and easy from the dot at the bottom now if I want to split screen I'm going to grab that from the bottom and I'm going to pull it across to one side of the screen that puts you into the split screen mode now if you want to readjust the amount of screen that either app takes up you're going to grab that little handle in the middle of the screen and give it a pull over to either side so you can resize to a quarter, a half or three quarters for either app uh, and it will adjust the other app accordingly. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well how do I get out of this? How do I get back to just having my one app? Whenever I click uh, the home button and go back into Safari, I get the split screen comes back. That's kind of annoying. Right, all we need to do is we need to grab that handle and just pull it all the way across the side of the screen and that puts you back into a single app. Uh, it's nice and easy, so just to demonstrate again, if we go back to Twitter, we pull it up, we pop it onto the side there, and we can adjust the sizes, and when we're ready to get rid of one app or the other, if we want to go full screen with Twitter, we just swipe the Safari window away, and all is done. Um, the other versions of uh, multitasking that appears on the iPad, we'll go back into our Safari window here, and with Twitter, this time we're going to grab it from the dot and pull it up into the center of the screen and release it that puts it in what's known as slide over mode now you can move it from one side of the screen to the other you can literally just swipe it away you can swipe back in uh, from the edge of the screen and you can swipe it away go back to Twitter on its own just open it again from the dock uh, but it's available now to pull in on pretty much any app Hey, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button just down there and subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss a single one. Every day during the week, we break down the latest Apple news, leaks and rumours in order to keep you up to date with Apple as well as tutorial videos like this one so that you can get more out of the Apple tech you already own. Thanks for watching.